back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on because I'm doing my what's for dinner. Now this must what's for dinner is a little misheveled because I just ended a video um, of my, um, what was I doing? I'm preparing and all that stuff um, a few minutes ago. That just posted. So um, it's late. It's four, what time is it? Four o'clock or something like that. And I needed to get, because I was in, oh, it's five o'clock. Because I was in the, in the kitchen late, I got a late start, like two o'clock. Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't get crazy. I didn't get prepared yet. So I'm preparing, I just prepared my whole dinner. I was trying to wait um, to, to, to do it before I put you guys on again because I wanted to show you. But it was getting too late and this was taking forever to upload um, because it was a long video. So um, I had to put everything in the oven about 10 minutes ago, everything's in the oven. So I will show you periodically what it looks like and I'll explain to you what I did. Um, what I did was I did sheet pan meals tonight. I had this big bag of um, fresh broccoli, so I took half the bag. I um, I um, put it in a bowl with olive oil, salt and pepper, garlic, fresh garlic powder, and all the seasonings. Um, you know, mixed it all up, put it on the sheet pan. Then I did. I had fresh cauliflower. That's what I was doing, cutting up my cauliflower. Cutting up my cauliflower. Cutting up my cauliflower. I had two heads of cauliflower that needed to be cut up. And need to get going so I can utilize it. So I put, I did the same with the with the cauliflower. I did it separate. I would normally put it together, but my son doesn't like cauliflower, so I put the broccoli and the cauliflower separate because this cauliflower in he already eat the broccoli, which is ridiculous. But anyway, that's just his thing. So, uh, so I put broccoli and cauliflower on the sheet pan separate. Um, then I put um, what I did was I put frozen original meatballs and I put one with the, I put two separate um, sections of those because my husband doesn't like sweet like sweet with um, sweet and sour and all that and I wanted to put some sweet and sour so I put some meatballs on that on that tray I think it's on that tray I'll show you and I just put a little uh, Worcestershire sauce and some seasonings on his and then ours I put um, I what I did was I made chicken and I made um, I made chicken, I made meatballs, because I didn't have two bags of meatballs. I only had one bag of meatballs. So I had, I made, I took out four chicken thighs from the freezer, cut them up, seasoned them, simmer them all up in garlic powder and everything, cooked that. So I made chicken thighs, cut up, I made the meatballs, and I also made, um, I had a half a bag of the little Smokies, and I made those, put seasonings all over them, and they're in the oven now. I also, um, you'll see on my, on my other video, I cooked a, um, a spaghetti squash because that was up there for like three weeks. I'm so unbelievable, thankful that it's not bad. It's good still. So I cut that up, got that all together, put it in the in the in the fryer, air fryer, baked it off. That's all done. Um, and and then I put potatoes. Um, uh, I I always buy the round potato guys. You know the round potatoes in the can. So I ordered them from Aldi, and this this I, I got an I got an order from them. I think it was Saturday or Sunday. I forget what day it was. Maybe Saturday. They messed up the whole order. They gave me different. They gave me the wrong stuff. They missed some things. They it just was it was horrible. I usually have a very good experience with them, but um, oh yeah, they they overloaded the bags like the big. They put um, can like fifteen cans in the baking in the in a paper bag. Come on, really? I don't know. Anyway, guys, it wasn't that great. So, but anyway, they gave me sliced potatoes instead of the whole potatoes, which is not the end of the world, but I'd rather the whole just because they hold up better. But anyway, so, I put, so I, I put the potatoes, I'm sorry, in, I put the potatoes in the um, air fryer on bake because there's no room in the oven with the other stuff because I have the broccoli, the cauliflower, and I have um, then, you know, the, the chicken, the meatballs, and the, um, and the little smokies on the other pan so that's all in the oven guys so i'm sorry i couldn't show it to you but just gotta get things in the oven when i gotta get them in because i don't want to eat at seven o'clock so i'll show you guys in a few minutes gotta get some clean some stuff cleaned up here and i'll be back what i do now is while everything's cooking i, I will show you guys i promise i just realized too i forked the um the spaghetti squash and it's still a little hard so i'm not going to eat that tonight anyway but 
I'll put it back in the toaster oven after the potatoes are done, like 10 minutes. I think that's all it needs. It was on 45 minutes. I don't know. I thought it would be, be good on 45 minutes, but I think it needed a little bit, obviously, it needed a little bit longer. Um, so while I'm sitting here relaxing, waiting for all this food to be done, because I'm pooped, I'm going to fill some stuff. I need to fill my parsley, again, my garlic powder, my onion powder, and I need to fill my olive oil thing, so I'm going to do that and give you and chat a little bit while I'm sitting here with you guys. So that's what I'm doing. Dinner's in the oven. I was hungry to have to have a spring cheese. Oh. I'm gonna fill this up. I got a lot accomplished today, as far as in the kitchen goes. I got my board done. I got some things done that I've needed to get done that have been on my mind the last couple of days. And so I'm glad about that. And dinner tonight should be good. It's different. Something different, but you need a little variety. You need to change it up. That's why I watch videos because it's pulling us a little bit. Because you get I you get ideas from everybody, guys. Everybody has their own way of doing things, and you know what they do is different than what you do. So you put it all together, and you get good ideas. You know. Oh boy, is that too much? Is that? Ooh. There we go. So that's filled with olive oil. I have another one over there, a smaller one. But I think I'll just leave this in for the container and we'll put this away. Now what I have is whoo, onion powder. Here's the, the garlic. This is, oh my God, I am just a flock up. Okay, guys, so listen. I wanted to tell you, this is being difficult. Let's move these over here so you can see me better. Hopefully. You're not going to be able to see me better there. Ah, let me fix this. So I'm going to put the, I did the garlic already while I was off camera. The food is almost done. So I'm going to do the onion powder. You know, guys, sometimes my husband says to me, you put too much on yourself. Yeah, I know, I do. And I, I always say, oh, no, I don't. But I like to do it. I enjoy it. But you know, he is right. <laughs> I do put too much on myself. Where's this gossy thought? I do put a lot on myself. But you know what? I Again, I enjoy doing it. So, you know, it's a... It's a hard thing, guys. All right. Parsley has to be filled, but I'm not doing the parsley now. I'm honestly not. I'm at my limit. So, this is garbage. This is garbage. Um, I'm going to plug you here because I have you guys plugged into the charger. I'm going to unplug you, and I'm going to show you guys what's going on up there. As soon as I take it out of the oven... Again, guys, I'm sorry I didn't show you the whole process, but I put out the video before, so I hope that's good enough for you guys. Um, yeah. All right, so let me go get the stuff out of the oven, and then I'll be back, and I'll show you guys all of it when it comes out of the oven. The potatoes. I made these in the air fryer. You know, I baked them in the air fryer. Here are the, here's the little um, smokies. The meatballs and chicken thighs. I like I said I put 
Um, on the meatballs and the chicken, a little bit, I put a little bit of um, uh, sweet and sour sauce on there and a little bit of soy sauce and mix that all up. And that's what's on these. These, I just put soy sauce on these meatballs because, you know, in regular seasoning and stuff, and a little bit of Worcestershire for hubby because he doesn't like sweet and sour. And we have some fresh um, uh, cauliflower and garlic and oil and the fresh broccoli in the garlic and oil, guys, and all of that. So this is what's for dinner tonight. And here's my spaghetti squash. I think it is done, so I'm going to probably have a little bit. Be back in with my plate in a moment. My dish. I have a little bit of everything. Some meatballs, some sweet and sour meatballs, some chicken, broccoli and cauliflower, and some potatoes. And I'm going to um, put a little bit of squash in my plate on top of everything because it's done. Well, I actually put it in the microwave for another three minutes just to get it soft. So that's what I'm going to do. But guys, look at it. Mm, Yummo! I love vegetables, guys. Thank God. Well, maybe. Maybe I'd be really skinny if I didn't like vegetables. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry about that. Um, I know it was kind of quick, the what's for dinner, but this is what it is for today, guys. I pooped, and so I'm going to go eat my dinner. And then just relax on the couch tonight and um, figure out what the next uh, video is going to be as far as my um, the talking video and all that. But I'll tell you about that. Anyway, don't forget to hit all those buttons on the bottom and hit that notification bell with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. And I'll see you on the next video. That lemon there, I'm going to squeeze on my broccoli and cauliflower. Bye, guys. See you on the next one.